Hello there. Today I'll be sharing four ways on how you can drive in Japan. I'll be sharing each of their pros and cons so you can choose what's best for you. Let's start. The first one is to get an international license. It is the cheapest way out of the four. In the Philippines, you can get an international license for 3,920 pesos or around 8,481 yen. That's relatively cheaper compared to the other three. It is the easiest and fastest way. So before leaving your home country, you can already get one. And when you come to Japan, you just have to sort out the car that you have to use, or even rent one. Then you can immediately drive. If you are planning to stay for a long period of time, or your visa is more than a year, you'd have to get a Japanese license, as you can only use your international license for a year. Convert your Philippine driver's license or your home country's license to Japanese. This is the best route to take when you already have an existing license. Although it can be a bit expensive, it is still way cheaper than going to a school or camp. Some countries need not take the knowledge and driving tests. Sadly, the Philippines isn't one of them. It is flexible in a sense that you can choose the day when you want to convert your license, as long as it's a weekday. Licensing centers are closed on weekends. Necessary requirements and documents are needed from your home country to apply. In some countries like the Philippines, passing a knowledge test and a driving test are required. Note, the Japanese driving test is infamous for being very difficult to pass, especially for foreigners. If you work on weekdays, you have to apply for a day off for a couple of times. Join a driving school camp. I first heard about this from my previous employer when she mentioned that she wants her son to join a driving camp. I asked her about it and she said it's targeted towards university students and people who can afford a two week off from work. You can get a license in just two weeks, compared to a two to three months at a regular driving school. Your payment includes accommodation, meals, transportation, and others. Expensive. Well, for me at least. Just for comparison, I converted my license and I only spent around 25,000 yen. You have to get a two week off from work. If you're still a student, however, you can do it on your spring or summer vacation. Here are some of my screenshots from the website idrive.jp. Their link is in the description box below if you're interested to know more about driving school camps. P.S. Not sponsored. The last one is to enroll in a driving school. This is for people who don't have driving experience and those who don't have existing license. There are classes on weekends, so this is ideal for working people. Expensive. It will take you about two to three months to finish the course. To further explain this matter, I asked my cousin about her experience at a driving school. I think five, no, six or seven years now. I went to a driving school here in Japan. As far as I could remember, I think you have to have your residence card or alien card and credit card if you can't pay it in cash. They don't 
require it, but I think it would be better if you have, because all the classes, the lectures are all in Japanese. Though they will give you a textbook in English, but the lessons, the lectures are all in Japanese. Listen, <laughs> listen to the professor or instructors. Okay. Yeah. Three to four days a week only. And it was April, so the school was very busy because it's also the time for the students. An hour for one class, but you have to complete, mm, I forgot how many classes, 40 plus or 50 plus. Yes. No. Because it was in English. <laughs> Two. For the student's permit or student's license and for the driver's license itself. Yes. Twice. One is before you could take the student's test student's license test and the other is for the expressway or highway. 330,000 yen. 330,000 yen? Senju-san? Yeah. Oh. 